Hello, hello and welcome to my page. Welcome to my class as well. My name is Stella Amago. I am a chemistry lecturer here in Nigeria. I have a master's degree in chemistry with a distinction from University of Mysore in India. I also have a bachelor's degree in applied chemistry from Usman Nedanfodio University Sokoto here in Nigeria with a first class. I'm very passionate about chemistry. I love to teach chemistry and that's why I am beginning this project, which is to teach chemistry online on my Facebook page. I'm super excited about this journey, about this project, and I hope that you all are also excited because the whole idea is to clear your doubts. I do not know it all, but the little that I know or the much that I know, I'll definitely transfer to you all. I'm very excited, like I said, and I hope that you are, and I look forward to this journey being a smooth ride. So in today's class, we won't be doing a whole lot of chemistry, chemistry here and there. We're just going to be, it's going, it's going to be just like the topic suggests, an introductory class. We want to know what chemistry is. Why does every science student have to study chemistry? What is the relevance of chemistry today? What is the significance of chemistry? What is the future of chemistry or how is chemistry the future? I'm very sure that you must have been, you must have been hearing here and there you hear what on earth is not chemistry. Maybe by the end of today's class, you will get to know why chemists make such statements. But to start with, we want to see what is chemistry. What is chemistry? You already know by now that chemistry is a science subject. It's not, um, per se, an art and humanity subject, okay? So chemistry is a branch of science that deals with the study of the structure, the properties, and the composition of matter. Note that word, matter. I'm very sure in your basic science knowledge, you hear matter here, matter there, and all of that. You were told that matter is nothing but anything that has weight and can occupy space. So chemistry wants to study that matter. It just tells you that matter is just anything. Matter could be you. Matter could be this marker that I'm using to write. Matter could be, sorry, matter could be this board. Matter could just be anything that you can actually see and feel that has weight and can occupy space. Chemistry wants to study the composition of that matter. Chemistry wants to know what is in that matter. Chemistry wants to know why is that thing even the way it is. So chemistry wants to study the properties of that matter. Chemistry wants to know uh, the length of this marker. It wants to know the, the, the it wants to know the dimensions. It wants to open it up and know what is inside this marker. It wants to know, okay, that content in it, what makes it what it is? Why is this marker black in color and why is it not green? Why would you have blue color of marker? Why would you have red? What is that thing that makes it red? What makes it blue and what makes it black? That is basically what chemistry wants to study. You're going to see a whole lot of other definitions of chemistry, but at the end of the day, chemistry wants to study the properties, the structure, and the composition of matter. There are various branches of chemistry. We have, I'm sure you have you've heard of different branches of chemistry, but I am um, chemistry is divided into four broad branches, like four broad branches or four major branches. We have organic chemistry, we have inorganic chemistry. Organic, you have inorganic, you have physical chemistry. And you have analytical chemistry. So for organic chemistry, these are like the four broad branches of chemistry. I'm sure by now you would have been wondering, oh, where, do, where does that place biochemistry? Where does that place medicinal chemistry? Where does, and all of that. These are like four, four parents. Let me put it that way. These are like the, 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 the guys on top. Then you have other branches 
under them. So organic chemistry is just a branch of chemistry that deals with carbon and its compounds. It studies carbon and its compounds, okay? It tries to study the structure of carbon and its compounds, not just hydrocarbons. You get to know all this language, please. But any compound that basically contains carbon, okay, is, 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 is usually regarded as organic. Although as you go deeper in chemistry, you get to realize that there are actually other compounds that contain carbon, but they you cannot just conclude that they are organic because they have like, um, would I say, certain properties of organic and inorganic. So we call them organometallic compounds, but that's fine. So organic compound chemistry deals, studies organic compounds, which is uh, compounds of carbon carbon and its compounds basically so it tries to study the structure the properties and the composition of this kind of compounds then inorganic chemistry is like the study of other compounds that are not organic in nature the other compounds that are left out that are not organic inorganic chemistry tries to study that then you have physical chemistry physical chemistry tries to bring in certain concepts of physics to study certain processes in chemistry. It brings in the concept of physics to study certain chemical processes. And that's where you see thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is under physical chemistry. That's where you see things like electrochemistry. That's where you see, um, you start studying energy, you start studying um, chemical kinetics, the rate at which a particular chemical reaction is taking place and all of that. So it's bringing in motion, energy, and all those phys physics concepts that you know or may not know, but yeah, <laughs> those concepts of physics are brought into chemistry to study a chemical system, and that is where you have physical chemistry. Then you have analytical chemistry. Here from the word anal analytical, it has to do with analysis. So this is like the branch of chemistry that tries to study the analysis of compounds. So here, analytical chemistry tells you how much of this com of this substance is present in this compound and it also tells you if that compound is actually present or uh, if that compound yeah is actually present in that substance so analytical chemistry deals with analysis trying to actually find out what is present here and the quantity that is present yeah, and isn't that so interesting don't you think that chemistry is so 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 interesting to study is it, it, it don't you think it's not as difficult as as people actually say it is or rather it's not as difficult as people actually make it to be don't you think so chemistry is so amazing chemistry is so interesting and once you have this in your mind i want to think that you will go you have a smooth ride in chemistry and by the way as time goes on i'll be giving you guys um, i'll be giving you some hacks here and there on how you can actually make chemistry your thing so that you don't find it as difficult as you are already so you hear things like biochemistry medicinal chemistry pharmaceutical chemistry this come under organic chemistry so i'm not saying that you can't study biochemistry alone or pharmaceutical chemistry or all of that but these are all like offshoots of organic chemistry so you have so many other subsections or sub branches of these large branches so whenever you come across any branch of chemistry that you see is not part of this core try to look out for which broad area it belongs to so the next thing that we we'll want to do is the relevance of chemistry relevance of chemistry today Chemistry has found relevance in our world today, whether we like it or not, because it, it, it's, it's like something that you cannot control, okay? The air we breathe, in fact, everything about us is chemistry. The food we eat, the digestion that takes place involves chemical reactions. We have enzymes in our system, and these enzymes are chemicals, okay? So our entire system, the build-up has to do with chemical changes that are taking place within our body and that is nothing but chemistry so in your everyday life or in our everyday life we come across chemical reactions whether we know them or we don't know them whether we are conscious about them or not these things exist so there is chemical change that we come across chemical reactions every point in time 
therefore chemistry is highly relevant we need to study that course because we need to study what is going on in the human system we need to study our immediate environment and to study our immediate environment we need to study the changes that take place in our immediate environment we need to study the changes that take place in our system and if we're going to be studying all these changes what are we studying chemistry so do you see why we are always everywhere screaming what on earth is not chemistry because yeah there is nothing on earth that is not chemistry so this is not a time to argue or anything but it's just to explain to you that chemistry is highly relevant and that's why chemistry has gained relevance in industries in the industries and i mean industries now i'm bringing in everything including medicine pharmaceutical um drug that's pharmaceutical is drug industry textile industry um you know any industry that you can think of cement industries leather industries any industry that you can think of where production is actually taking place that industry needs a chemist chemistry is highly relevant to that industry because apart from every other thing that could be taking place the manager man, the management and all of those things taking place you have the actual uh, manufacturing that is happening and the manufacturing has to do with certain chemical changes you are bringing in substances together you're trying to combine them to produce something so for the very fact that you are bringing things together to combine them to produce something you are already performing chemical reaction whether you know it or not okay so therefore we can say that chemistry is very relevant in industries and you find chemists mainly, mainly in quality control and quality assurance units of every industry because these chemists are the ones that actually go about research research and development okay so they are always out and about trying to think of new ways to do old things they are trying to think of new ways of saving time saving costs okay so they are apart from the economists and all of those people you have in the industry the chemists try to think of what do we do to make sure that we get the same product or even a better product within a, within a short time so that we will be able to meet up with our competitors in all of that chemists try to discover new products it is chemists that come together and say oh if we, when we remove this particular thing from this product or from this reaction, we are going to get this kind of product. So you cannot underestimate the importance or the relevance of chemistry in industries. Okay. So apart from quality control and apart from um, um, coming up with new discoveries or new ideas and all of that, chemists ensure that the quality of these products remain as they are supposed to or as consumers want them. So even when production is done, it is the, the product, the new products are sent back to the quality control unit where the chemists sit down to actually check if these products that have been obtained or have been uh, gotten or produced, if they actually meet up with the requirement required standard that is supposed to let's say maybe a food product that is produced if it actually meets up with the nutrient values that are written down on paper that are expected of that product it is the quality control analysts who are chemists that actually do this whole thing so do you see how relevant chemistry is chemistry is very relevant in medicine in pharmaceutical industry drug discovery the everyday research is going on on trying to improve on old drugs trying to many drugs are becoming uh, what is called um, resistant the system the body is becoming resistant to certain drugs chemists are out there in the lab in the research laboratories trying to discover new drugs trying to improve on the old ones to make sure that their resistance level is not as it is and so many other importance of chemistry or relevance of chemistry in our world today then finally what is the does chemistry have a future or rather do we see chemistry in the future we are going to yes chemistry is very relevant even for the future in our world today we are fighting climate change we are fighting environmental degradations and environmental hazards that are being caused as a result of this climate change chemists have a big role to play because they are there in the laboratory making research taking samples and trying to think of new ways new things can be done how to reduce the amount of 
uh, uh, amount of pollut pollutants that are being given up from from our the the things we use every day like our cars, our generators, and all of that. So chemistry has found relevance will definitely be relevant for the future in terms of environmental um, change and all of that or climate change as you want to call it even in medicine chemistry is highly relevant for the discovery of drugs if i'm going to stand here and keep telling you people about chemistry honestly this video is going to be maybe an hour video and i wouldn't want it to be so so these are basically the things that you need to know about chemistry the relevance of chemistry and what chemistry actually entails so i hope that you grabbed something from this video if you really did please i want you to tell me what you have learned today in the comment section i'll be very grateful to see that and that will motivate me to continue to create these videos okay thank you very much and um in this um uh, our subsequent classes we will be looking now into introduction to chemistry or rather general chemistry so we'll be beginning with measurements this is like the main thing that you begin to study and when it comes to chemistry and i will tell you more about it in our next class measurements that's the metric system and we'll look at matter and what matter entails i'll see you all in the next class bye